Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at EU Trailer, and today we'll be taking a look at our Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two bike platform rack right here on our 2022 Kia Telluride. So the Kuat Sherpa is your middle of the road bike rack with all the premium made features you would expect from Kuat. So you can't expand it like the Kuat Envy. You don't have as much weight capacity like the Kuat Envy, but you still have slightly more weight capacity than your average bike rack. Plus you have your carbon frame capacity and you can tilt away to access your hatch. So let's take a look at that. So we have a very easy access lever right over here and you're going to want to pull that lever and then just let the Sherpa drop to a tilt. Why would you tilt your bike rack away with the bikes on? Well, you'll want to do that if you want to access your hatch. So as you can see here on our Kia Telluride, we have pretty good clearance between our door, our handlebars, allowing us to get into our trunk, grab whatever we need, whether it's our helmets, our bags, our waters, all without having to take our bikes off completely. And once you have your door down, you can then just lift up on the bike rack. It catches into place and you're ready to get back onto the road. So let's talk about weight capacity as well as the types of bikes that this can carry. So we have a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike, which is slightly more than your traditional bike rack, which limits themselves to 35 pounds. So that's good. Now you also have your front wheel mount right over here. And because of that front wheel mount, it makes it so much easier to carry other types of bikes. Like our carbon frame bike here. If I had a traditional bike rack that has a frame mount with a hook that comes down, I could warp or damage my frame. With this front wheel mount, I don't have to worry about that. Another thing holding it in place is this rear wheel strap. And when you want to take your bike off, this is actually where you start. You press that button, or I guess that lever, and you just lift that strap up. And I try to kind of leave it to the side so it doesn't get caught up with my spokes. Then I come over to the front. I hold onto my bike so it doesn't tilt backwards towards our Kia. Press this button, lift that up, push that out. And from here, all I need to do is just lift my bike up and I'm ready to go on a ride. With our bike off, we can now take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So first is the rear wheel mount, or I guess your rear wheel cradle. Notice how this can move back and forth to accommodate different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase this can accommodate is up to 47 inches. You also have this strap that goes around that wheel and secures it. Now let's take a look at the front cradle. To maintain the nice compact and minimalist design, notice how our front cradle can be folded in and out. We also have those grooves inside our cradle for your different tire widths. So whether you have a really thin tire or a larger tire, the maximum tire width this can accommodate is up to 3 inches. And then just fold this down so it's nice and neat. You also have your front wheel cradle which I talked about earlier. This folds down against your bike rack so that you have a nice looking bike rack right over here. This, by the way, is the Kuat Sherpa in gray, but you could also get it in different colors like black or pearl. Whenever you have something loaded into your hitch, there's going to be some length added to the back of your Kia Telluride. So we're going to take some measurements just to see exactly how much. First is going to be the length added with it folded down like this. So I'm going to measure right here from our bumper to the end of the bike rack and that sits at about 34 inches. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have bikes as well as a bike rack behind you. Since your Telluride is kind of on the longer end when it comes to vehicles, if you do have a really small garage, hopefully this measurement helps you out to see if it's the right fit for you in your garage too. Taking a look at ground clearance, we're gonna measure from underneath the tray to the ground and it sits at 23 inches of height. Then measuring from underneath the shank to the ground, it sits at 15 inches of height. So 15 inches of ground clearance isn't that impressive. It's still pretty good. But whenever you go up steep inclines like your driveways or your hills, your front will go up, your back will go down, and notice how we have a shank rise so that your bikes are sitting even higher up. That's gonna be especially useful when you go over those inclines. And if you need this bike rack to be a bit more compact, you can fold it up to do so. Remember that lever we used earlier? 
pull that lever and just fold that up. Notice how smooth and easy the Kuat Sherpa moves. That's just another extra feature they add, which I really, really like about it. Just adds to the ease of use. But anyways, for measurements, first we'll take a look at closest point. That's gonna be from our bumper, which is the furthest point out on our vehicle, to the front wheel mount, and that's about four and a half inches of clearance. Plenty of clearance there. Length added to the back of our car is gonna be from the bumper to the tray, eight inches, and it sticks out further at the anti-rattle bolt, and that's 14 and a quarter inches of length added. Big difference compared to when this was folded down. You'll definitely want it in the portable position when you're not planning on taking your bikes out, but you also don't wanna take your bike rack off. With it folded up, let's talk about how it's gonna be like living with the bike rack. So, our rear window is completely visible. Our rear tail lights are visible as well, so that's nice, you're safe on the road. Now our backup camera sits slightly above the bike rack, so you'll still be able to see behind and around your vehicle, but you'll, if you wanna look straight back out of your backup camera, it will kind of cover your view. Another thing it slightly covers is the license plate. If you look at it straight on, you can see the e-trailer sign, so it's mainly visible, but if that is still gonna be an issue for you, one option for you might be that you just wanna carry your bike rack around in the down position. We also have a hitch pin and a lock. So that lock is key like to the cable clock that is included with this bike rack that goes around your bikes. That way you get one key to access the whole system, your bikes and your bike rack. It's a tool free install. You just pop into your hitch, tighten it down with this knob over here. So no levers or wrenches and let's do a shake test. So as I shake our bike rack, just to mimic how the road sways and road vibrations, notice how I'm mainly moving the car at this point, showing how secure that fit is between the shank and the hitch, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. So my final thoughts about the Kuwait Sherpa here on our Telluride is if you and your friend want to go out for a bike ride, you maybe have nicer bikes or you just like something that's really easy to use so that you can focus on your bike ride, this is a really good option. Now, if you're bringing a bunch of your family along, a lot of your friends along, since the Telluride has space for multiple people, you cannot expand this to a four bike bike rack like the Kuat Transfer or the Kuat NV can. So that might be an option worth considering. All in all, I still think this has all the premium features you could ever ask for, has a nice compact look, and looks really good on our Kia Telluride. So this was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two bike rack right here on our 2022 Kia Telluride. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.